Each year, countless immigrants to the United States make a bid to become U.S. citizens. In an effort to provide its residents with clear information on how to do so, the Santa Clara County Citizenship Collaborative hosts an annual Citizenship Day at San Jose City College. On April 12th, numerous green card holders filed into the college's gym and classrooms to receive orientation, assistance, and legal assessment regarding the citizenship process. Absolutely. So in order for someone to become a citizen, they have to be a legal permanent resident for at least five years. Uh, they, they have to uh, basically have to have, be green card holders for five years. They have to have uh, five years of good moral character, which means they couldn't have been convicted of certain crimes. Um, they also have to be able to speak basic English, and they have to be able to answer certain questions regarding the history and civics of the United States. <laughs> Available in Spanish, Korean, and English, the orientation was given in a total of 14 different languages throughout the day. We particularly cater to low-income immigrants, so the people that we're seeing are people who have uh, come here as refugees. Uh, there are many immigrants from Latin America who were able to gain their status through amnesty back in the 80s. So what we're seeing right now is it's a variety of, of immigrants from a variety of different countries who are low-income uh, that are now being able to get the resources and find citizenship accessible because there are many barriers to citizenship, unfortunately. Legal services were also on hand to assist residents if necessary. So there's, a, um, you know, citizenship, there's a lot of different requirements in order to become an, a U.S. citizen. Um, and so we help people do some background checks on themselves to make sure that they don't have anything that's going to be a problem before they apply. Um, sometimes people might have a more complicated immigration history, and so we help them obtain the correct immigration records so we can evaluate their background. We're just taking the cautious step of having people schedule a follow-up time with a legal professional so that they can make sure that everything, all their T's are crossed and I's are dotted. Many green card holders want to become citizens for various reasons. One of the main motivations is that people want to be able to travel freely. They want to be able to have a U.S. passport. As a legal permanent resident, you can't leave the United States for more than six months at a time without having negative consequences. Another really important factor is that people want to have access to the right to vote. They want to be members of, of our American democracy, and they want to be able to have a voice in the political system that governs them. This is Travell Anderson with the Peninsula Press, a project of the Stanford Graduate Program in Journalism.